In this section, we cover getting data from Drupal. We will explore getting data through views, getting data through Drupal core, and getting data through custom code. In this video, we are going to look at creating REST export displays, assigning meaningful labels. Navigate through Manage, Structure, Views, and click the Add View button. We can enter a short view name and a more helpful description. Choose to show content of type Water Eco Action sorted by newest first. Skip the page settings and block settings. Check the box to provide a REST export. The RESTful Web Services module is the module that is responsible for making this type of view display possible. Recall that we hadn't seen this option previously. Assign the path views forward slash WEA. This corresponds to a REST URI. Click the entity link in the format section. We want views to display fields instead of the entire entity. Assign the alias WEA underscore title. Let's take a look at what Views has created for us by scrolling down to the preview at the bottom of the page. We are looking at JSON output and there is something that is less than ideal. Everything is wrapped in an anchor tag. Click the content title link in the field section and uncheck link to the content. Since we are listing all of the water eco action items, it will be helpful for people to choose a specific item to view its details. Click the Add button next to the Fields label. Search for ID and select the Content ID. We don't need to display a prefix or suffix. If we look at the preview again, we see that the ID has been labeled NID, which is not intuitive to people who don't use Drupal. Scroll to the top of the page and click the settings link that appears next to the show label in the format section. Assign an alias of WEA underscore ID for the NID. If we wanted to restrict which serialization formats can be requested, we can click the settings link next to the format label in the format section. We are going to allow any of the formats, so we don't need to check any of the boxes. We aren't going to select any type of authentication. Change the pager by clicking the link for display a specified number of items and choose display all items. Leave offset set to zero. We are going to create another resource, so let's change the name of this resource. Click the display name link. Change it to all WEA REST export. Click the drop down next to the display name and select Duplicate All WEA REST Export. Select REST Export. Change the display name for the duplicate to Single WEA REST Export. Click the Content ID link. Opt to make the change for this REST Export override. Click the Remove link. Click the Add button next to the Fields label. Select the Coordinates and Description fields and apply this display until you return to the administration screen. Click the settings link next to the show label in the format section. Assign an alias of WEA coordinates and WEA description to their respective fields. Click content authored on descending in the sort section. Change the drop down to for this rest export override and click the remove link. Click the path link in the path settings section. Append a percent sign to the path. Click the advanced label to expand the field set and add a contextual filter. Select for this rest export override and search on ID. Select the content ID. Click apply this display. Save our changes. Let's run our clients to see how things work. First, we will run the client that requests all of the water eco action items. Things look great. Now, let's run the client that requests a particular item. We have a winner. You may have a look over the clients on your own.